My name is David Smith, and welcome to Correctional Officer Lifestyle. Hey folks, this is David Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. I am off today, not at work. I'm actually visiting my son up in Troy, Alabama. Um, I came outside because it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful fall day. And I kind of like being outside on a day like today. It, it's really good. It's really cool. Um, as you know, it is Sunday, which is Scripture Sunday for my channel. And I try to pick scriptures that relate directly to the job that we do uh, as correctional officers. And I have four scriptures today. Um, of course, the first one is Philippians 4.13, which is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. There are a lot of people in our business that say, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Um, if you ever feel that there is something before you that you can't handle, that there is something before you that you can't surmount that you can't deal with remember that trusting in the lord gave david the ability to kill giants to kill a giant with a stone okay um he prayed for strength first and he believed that he could do all things and was able to do it now this is obviously new testament because the Messiah has been born, but if you pray and you believe that you can do whatever you can, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. The second that I have actually comes out of 2 Corinthians. It's in Corinthians 12, 9, and 10. <clears throat> I'm counting that as two verses because technically it is. Um, and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. And verse 10 says, Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecutions and distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. There is this misconception in corrections that you have to be the all-powerful you have to be the mighty always stronger than the inmates always more powerful always right never wrong need I go on that is absolutely not true you do not have to be all of those things what you have to be is truthful what you have to be is honest occasionally you have to be forceful but you have to be consistent. That's the biggest thing. Now, if you mess up and you let, let's give an example. Um, an inmate comes to you with a policy that has changed and you have not seen the change yet. Um, a lot of dorm officers don't see the changes that come down simply because at the beginning of your shift you haven't been given the intelligence that you need. Now we're working in the Florida Department of Corrections on going to eight and a half hour shifts where we'll have a shift briefing before shift starts and everybody will be able to get the, uh, the information that they need. But don't think that an inmate doesn't know when a policy changes whether or not you've worked and you don't know that policy. And this inmate comes to you with what you think is a stupid request because you know what the policy states and you immediately refuse that inmate whatever he's asking for, which by the old policy would be the correct thing to do. But then you've got this new policy and once you find out about the new policy, then you actually get the opportunity to show the inmate population that you're human 
You do. You get that ability. You get to show them that you're human. You get to say, man, I didn't know about this new policy. We're going to go on ahead and back up on this one. And just, just show that little bit of humanity. And that little bit of humanity, that little bit of humanity will go a long way in earning the inmate population respect. Now, am I telling you to bow, bow down and kowtow to the inmates' wishes? No, 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 no. But just that little spark of humility, that little spark of humanity might just endear some of the inmate population to you. And they might have a little more respect for you on the end of that. Because I've always said, do the right thing for the right reason at the right time. Do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, not because who's watching not because of the end result, not because of who can see you. Do the right thing for the right reason at the right time and do it because it's the right thing to do. And if backpedaling and letting that inmate do whatever it was that he wanted to do in line with the new policy is the right thing to do, then by God, do the right thing. All right? The last one is Isaiah 41.10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with my right hand of righteousness. You never walk onto that compound alone. Never, ever walk onto that compound alone. I've said it over and over again. You want to know what it feels like to be an island? Be on an island? Be a captain. I'm on an island. I'm halfway between the troops and the management. I am the instrument that the management needs to get the policy down to the troops, but I am also the instrument that the troops need to let management know what works and what don't work, and to let them know the concerns that the troops are having. Um, I have had a warden, um, very famously recently say that he doesn't mind if the troops get unhappy with him because of the policies that he's enforcing, he has no problem with that. And that, that's cool. That's awesome. He doesn't have to... He, 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 he has that ability. Um, I don't. I have to make sure that the troops that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis are as happy as I can make them. Um, a lot of times policy comes down that the troops are not happy with, and that, that's, that's fine. Now, I'm not speaking about my current warden. I'm speaking about another warden entirely. Um, and it really wasn't all that recently, I don't guess. Um, he was a guy who no longer works for the department. But he, he legit didn't care. He legit didn't care whether or not the troops were happy so long as his mission was accomplished. I don't have that luxury. I have to do what I can to keep the troops happy. But even being on the island that I am on, even trying to keep both management and the troops happy, trying to be the go-between, protect the troops when I can from whatever they have done, and we all know in corrections, troops tend to do silly things. <clears throat> I never go to work alone. I take the Lord Jesus Christ into work with me every single day. I ask him to be there. He'd be there regardless, but I ask him to be there. And I have, I have said on numerous occasions, on numerous occasions, <clears throat> that I know Jesus Christ is in prison because there is no shortage of inmates that find him when they're there. And there's a lot of them that are willing to leave him there when they get out, feeling they no longer need him. So I know Christ is in prison. I know Christ is in every prison in the United States of America and across the world. I know this. I know he is. That's what I got, folks. That's what I got. Strength through faith in God is what I got. And that's what this video is about. Strength in your faith in God. If you go to work with faith every single day, then you go to work with strength and power 
given to you by the Holy Spirit. And that that's that's the whole video, folks. That's pretty much what it is. Um, as I have said before, um, this is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Now, I am going to see if I can't get somebody to come onto the channel with me to talk exclusively about domestic violence. Um, it is not somebody who is a corrections officer, but it is somebody who has first-hand experience with domestic violence. And I'm going to see if I can get them to come on the show with me just, just to bring more light to the subject. But I'm going to go on ahead and tell you now, um, if you are in an abusive relationship, it is now time for you to find a way out of that relationship, okay? There is no better time than now. Whatever now is, now could be next week when you, when you first understand that there is help. But now is the time to get out of that relationship. If you know somebody in an abusive relationship, now is the time to help them. If you know the abuser in an abusive relationship, Remember, folks, the worst thing you can do is nothing. Say something to somebody, all right? And if you are the abuser in an abusive relationship, there's help for you, too. All you got to do is know that you need it and ask for it. Folks, this is David Smith at Correctional Officer Lifestyle. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. You want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications when I post new videos. And leave me some feedback, folks. Talk to me. I love to hear from you. It's David Smith, Correctional Officer Lifestyle. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. Y'all stay safe behind the fence. I'll see you in the next video.